Mr. Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the life of Mrs. Dolores S. Williams, a community matriarch. Her life was a true Brooklyn story. Born in Newport News, Virginia on February 14, 1933, she came to New York City with her family as a young girl as part of the Northern migration from the South in search of opportunity. Growing up in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, Dolores graduated from Thomas Jefferson High School and married Jacob A. Williams in 1951 and raised three children, Cheryl Elise, Jacob Conrad, and Celeste Elena. Dolores was a staunch believer in education and was actively involved in her children's school and with issues in her community. She also practiced what she preached. She returned to school and received a Bachelor of Arts in Education from Brooklyn College at the age of 40. She found success as an educational sales representative for Random House Publishing Company, inspired by a desire to support the education of all children. Dolores returned to the classroom earning a Master of Science degree in special education from Hunter College, which she used to pursue her passion by working with developmentally challenged children and her beloved Bedford Stuyvesant. She was a woman of high distinction and a real New Yorker, a real Brooklynite, survived by three children and nine grandchildren who will never forget her kindness and love. I too was very fortunate in my youth to have been a part of the extended family of the Williams. I befriended their youngest daughter, Celeste, and we grew up together in the quintessential village that raised its children in the Prospect Lefferts Gardens community of Brooklyn, where we were neighbors. Mrs. Williams and her family embraced me and reinforced the values of my home and family. She shared the expectations of becoming highly educated and well-rounded young adults, always encouraging through conversations filled with laughter. Her support and encouragement helped me in my formative years to focus on my educational goals and lifelong aspirations. To my dearest Cheryl, Conrad, and Celeste, I extend my deepest, most profound condolences. Now that she has returned to the ancestors, let us always remember her timeless pursuit of public service, her profound respect for education and lifelong learning, and her love for family and community. She is now in the arms of God. Well done, Dolores Williams. Rest now in peace. And I yield.